the people have spoken. Remote ID modules, they don't want them. I've enjoyed reading the comments from my past two videos about this Spectrum Sky ID, remote ID module. I think it has some pretty cool telemetry data. For 70 bucks, we get another telemetry option to see some more cool stuff on our transmitter. Plus, we can abide by their silly rule. You know, there's three different uh, ways we can abide by their rule. And one of those being you can fly in an FAA approved area and you don't have to worry about it. And that's most likely what the majority of us are going to do. And some don't. I think the rule is completely silly. And once again, all the comments reflect everybody's feelings that nobody wants it and nobody's going to get it. <laughs> if uh, you're flying something under 250 grams, you don't have to worry about it either. So this guy's under 250. What does a UMX plane weigh? We'll have to throw that on a scale. And then let's answer a few of these other questions. Hang on, guys. Okay, let's see what a UMX timber weighs. I got the scale set to grams already. When I power it on, it'll be zero with this box on it. And then we'll put our timber. Timber! So we got 114 without a battery. A battery is uh, way less than 100. So, yeah. UMX, uh, the UMX planes are under 250 grams. If you want to win a jet like this, all you have to do is subscribe. Click the like button and leave a comment. And then uh, ring the bell so you don't miss my next video. At 1,000 subscribers, we gave this jet away. At 5,000, we're going to give another one. I don't know what it is yet. We'll see when that time comes. So, hey. Subscribe, guys. Happy flying. The Spectrum Sky ID Remote ID Module helps RC pilots fly in compliance with the latest FAA Remote ID guidelines. And let's answer a couple other questions real quick. One person questioned and commented on what I said. And I said that the Spectrum Sky ID Remote ID Module will send signals to cell phone towers. And I shouldn't have said that. But where I got that scenario, that information from, is from right here. Look at this. So I mentioned that the remote ID module will send signals to cell phone towers. I shouldn't have said that. But this particular model is an all-in-one unit. It has the battery right, right in it. So this can also answer someone else's question about, you know, I don't want to take my wings off and on, which I don't blame you and move it, move the, the remote ID spectrum module from plane to plane to plane, wings off, wings on, wings off, wings on. You say that 10 times in a row. Well, here you go. All in one unit, just Velcro it uh, on the center of your plane or something. No, but this particular module, broadcast and network. Broadcast and network. So they're claiming this device is like a two-in-one. You know, it does broadcast and network. So right here is network remote identification. Drone tag mini transfers your drone's position and identification to our cloud. By displaying the real-time data in our app, drone tag enables advanced drone operation, the coordinates of manned and unmanned traffic in the same airspace. So that's network. Then it also does direct broadcast. Your drone's info is trans transmitted via Bluetooth up to 1.86 miles. With our direct remote ID, your fulfill all the new blah, blah, blah regulations. Spectrum's unit does Wi Fi and Bluetooth. This guy's saying that direct is only Bluetooth. So this network, it goes to their cloud. The only way information is going to get to their cloud is through a cell phone tower. But this is not the, the Spectrum Sky ID. Here's another question or comment. This person brings up an awesome point. So 
when I go flying, I take my batteries, my charger, sometimes two transmitters. I always take two airplanes, toolbox, you know, so how much is that? Over $1,000 easily, right? Plus, I got my car, my wallet. You got stuff. So now, with somebody with a drone scanner app, can see where I'm flying, and then they can see, hey, no one else is flying around them, and then they might know what part of town that is. I personally fly at a park, and I'm the only one there quite often. I know when other people don't go, and that's when I go. So we could be targeted by thieves. You know, hey, <laughs> this guy is flying. He's not looking at his car. He's not looking at his toolbox. They could run up, steal something from you, and be gone by the time you're trying to land your plane. But I tell you what, if I see somebody stealing something and I'm flying, <laughs> what did the Japanese do? Kamikaze? <laughs> They'll get hit in the back of the head with an extra 3D. That, that's a fact. So that, that's a good point. That Yeah, thieves could, could target us big time like that. And someone else... Um, like I just showed you with that all-in-one unit, you know, he says, hey, what us, what us guys with older aircraft, you know, big planes that they spent a lot of time building, you know, wood, they don't want to take the wings off and on, off and on. It, that, that's not going to be good for the plane, plus it's really time-consuming. So, I mean, if, if you want to be in compliance and you want to fly a couple other planes, then I guess you need a couple different modules. Until uh, until they come out with something that's, you know, the size of a couple quarters and we can just uh, Velcro it to the bottom of the plane or something like that, which, hey, technology won't be long and probably something will be that that small and that light. So let's see what other kind of questions I can come up with here real quick. Um, someone says, how will they police whether we have one or not? It's just money racket. Yeah, I think you're right. So. Let me show you this on the uh, FAA's website. Now, this is this is funny. <laughs> Look at this. The FAA website right here, the remote ID final rule. Blah, 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 blah. Final rule, final rule. Now, look here. December 31st, 2019 was when the final rule you know, became a rule. But look down here. The FAA received over 53,000 comments during the 60-day comment period. The FAA reviewed all of the comments and considered them when writing the final rule. So you're telling me they read 53,000 comments? You know, hey, Bob, I need you to read a 1,000 and uh, write a report on each one by, by the end of the day. Susie, I need you to do a 1,000. Uh, you know, Billy, a thousand. Okay, now that leaves fifty thousand. So now they need fifty more people to do a thousand. You know, if they broke it into five hundred each, you need a hundred people. You know, they didn't read fifty three thousand comments. That that's a fact. What read the fifty three thousand, if they were read at all, was artificial intelligence or an algorithm. You know, kind of like the. YouTube algorithm right here. You know, if you guys like uh, watching my videos and and you uh, subscribe and you click the like, then it pushes my videos in front of other people. Same with their uh, fifty three thousand comments. So let's see what else is on this uh, FAA website. So there's three ways drone pilots will be able to meet the identification requirements. One is the drones have the built-in unit. So remote ID capability is built into the drone. So that's one way. And certain drones made after a certain year automatically have this in it. And then here we are. Here's our airplanes with our remote ID module. And then here's our FA recognized area. I think <laughs> everything's going to be recognized. So... So blah, 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 blah. Someone else says, you know, how will they police whether we have one or not? It's just a money racket. Almost uh, is blah, blah, blah. And somebody says, 
think about gun control. You know, so if some people had their way, all the guns would be turned in, right? Well, who is going to turn in their gun? Me and you and all the good guys. The bad guys aren't going to turn in their guns. Well, the bad guys aren't going to register their drones, you know? So, I don't know. Take it for what it's worth. That, that's just my thought, you know? And uh, many, many, many other people's thoughts. See what else we got here real quick. Last one. Somebody says, can you use the balance plug for power? Yes, you can. The Spectrum Sky ID module needs between like 3.3 and 6.6 .6 volts. It just needs to be powered. You don't need to plug it into your receiver. I I like the idea of plugging into to the receiver because we can see the uh, telemetry data as far as the airspeed and altitude and stuff like that. But if you don't want to plug it into a receiver or you don't have a spectrum receiver, then all you need to do is power it and you can power it however you want. But you gotta meet those, you know, you gotta be between the minimum and the maximum voltage. So you can use a balance plug and you might just have to use, you know, two cells or you might have to use a voltage regulator, you know, but yes, it can be powered off a balance plug. I'll do plenty of videos in the future on uh, how we can power them exactly. So, all right, last one. Several people said this Sky ID, remote ID module, we don't want somebody turning off our airplane in mid-flight. <laughs> so, no, they can't control <laughs> our planes through this module. This module is going to send signals out with information about you, all your personal stuff, at mother's maiden name, bank account, social security number, credit check. It, it's going to send out a bunch of stuff, but they can't turn your plane off. So that's good. So, all right. Hey, there's plenty more, but uh, that, was, that, that, was, that was a handful. That was good. I'll leave it alone for, for the next uh, several days, but it was, a, it was a hot topic and it was fun. Gave me something to do the past couple of evenings, so I appreciate it. So hope everybody else does too. I think this thing will be pushed back probably for another year or something, you know. That, that'd be, that, that's my thoughts. We'll see September 16th. So, all right, guys. Hey, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And, uh, hey, until next time, you'll see me here. or or you'll know where I'm at. <laughs> hey, where's Sean? Let me let me pull up my drone scanner app. There he is right there. Damn, look at his credit score. <laughs> All right, hey. Adios.